Alright guys, today in this lesson I'm going to show you everything you need to know about making cut lines or decals on the Roland SP540V using Roland VersaWorks and I'll be showing you how to do it in Photoshop and Illustrator and how to get it to work that way it'll after you print and laminate you can put it back on the machine and cut or you can just do a print and cut. Um, first thing first, um, if you don't have the VersaWorks cut lines you need to make sure you have those installed. Um, if you already have VersaWorks installed on your computer you go to local disk C, program files x86, and down to Roland, right here, pressure works. You go over to swatches, and then they already have them for a Grail Draw or Illustrator. Uh, we'll be using Illustrator today, and then you can just copy these swatches and save them inside of Illustrator. Okay, now that we're done with that, <clears throat> whatever you save in this swatch, in Illustrator. You come down here to your libraries. Uh, you can find VersaWorks right here. And then here's all the different types. Um, the row one that says Roland VersaWorks is right here on the screen. And this magenta color is the one uh, that you want to use. Right here, cut and tour. Alright, so let's get to the actual lesson. Uh, first, we can do it in Illustrator. I'll show you how to do it. Say I want to cut out this sticker of letters. Oh, we can fancy it up a little bit. Right now I just have a basic font and you can't cut just a basic font. It has to be um, shapes and, and colors you know, to make a vector. So let's right click, create outlines. Now we have it as a vector. Just a bunch of paths. Let's go, let's go over to our appearance panel. And this doesn't pull it up. You can just go to window and let's click right here on the add new stroke and say we want to add a red stroke to it I always like to move my stroke underneath contents and beef it up a little bit so you can actually see uh, make it a little bit easier for you to see that uh, cut the color line so I have yellow okay what I like to do I never work on the original which this is so I'll just put name it right here. I'll have to, to copy that. So I got a new layer. I'm gonna call this um, cut. I'll move it underneath the original. What I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna select my artwork, press control C, then I'm gonna lock my original layer and click on the, the cut layer, press control F. And now I have it right there. Now I want it to cut on the outside of the yellow so all I gotta do um, and just go to object expand appearance and then go to object expand uh, make sure these are checked fill in stroke press ok uh, now I'm going to unite now that, I, now that I press unite as you can see I have the path just on the outside now that that's selected I'll make sure my fill color is nothing and my stroke this is this right here symbolizes the stroke and has no fill I'm going to pull in my cut contour color which is that magenta color pacific to roll and versa works I'm just going to double click on that as you can see it changed right here and on my stroke uh, points or thickness which is 0.25 and now you're technically done um, it will go in there and it will recognize that but, um, as we all know, sometimes printers need a little bit of bleed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select this, press Control c copy it. Um, I'm going to lock this layer over here, and add a new one. On the back, I'm going to call this one my bleed. That way, I'm going to give the printer cutter some um, excess for any kind of cut and error or any kind of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control f again. Now make sure it doesn't cut it twice. I'm going to go ahead and take this stroke off. Now that that stroke off, let me go ahead and make the fill color the same color as my stroke, which is yellow. And now that that's done, I'm going to go to Effect, Path, Offset Path. And you can preview it right here. And as you can see, uh, it added more um, path around the object. And say that was enough, or we can adjust it right here. But for us today, that's going to be enough. Now, the printer's going to go in here, 
just reprint this whole artwork. And then after I get done, I want to cut some cut on this magenta line. And I have excess yellow on both sides. That way, if it does move in the cut or anything, we should be fine. Now you're not done yet. As you see, we have the original layer, the cut layer, and the bleed layer. But we need to all make it one. So let's go ahead and unlock everything. And this is the most important step. You want to go ahead and press Control A. So you select everything, all the layers. And go to Object, Light and Transparency, High Resolution, and press OK. Now all that's flattened to one. So all we got to do is change the um, artboard, tool, artboard tool. Go to Fit Art Bounds. And it'll go right there. Um, that way it goes right on the edge of my artwork. And then I have to save it as a dot EPS. That's the only way the virtual works will read it. Um, now say that I wanted to save this right now. Um, retest and tour. How I know that it worked is if I pull it into virtual works, add job. Alright, <clears throat> test control. Press open. As you see, I have my file right here in the virtual works queue. And under special items, you notice there's a little A around there. That means that it recognizes the cut lines. I can zoom in right here and see the virtual works is going to cut right here on these dotted lines now, which is that magenta line. And just to cut it, uh, to get my media width obviously, set on media. And then you want to make sure you have your crop mark selected. That way the printer will reread it, will read it if you're going to put it in there after you laminate. You go to cut controls. Uh, and then you can change any of your settings. Uh, me personally, I like to go down my speed to 5. And my pressure is uh, usually around 175. That all depends on the blade um, and not everything else with your machine. So make sure you do some test prints for anything like that. Then you just press uh, print and they'll start printing it and you're good to go. Alright, now we're going to move on to Photoshop. Alright, same Photoshop you have uh, a rasterized object, some kind of image. Um, that's not a vector, okay? But you want to print it out and make a decal, which is fine. All right, so I have my artwork here, and I want it to cut around this black. First thing first, I need to duplicate it. I'm going to call this um, original um, and bleed. And um, and just with this, put the original on the bottom and bleed on top. Or we'll call it cut, just so you understand that. So my original selected, I'm gonna double click and pull up my layer style panel, or I can right click and click blending options. And what I want to do is I want to add a stroke to it. So it's right here. I'm gonna change the color of the stroke just so you can see it. Say it's red. Well, I want to want it a little bit more blue than that. So say right there. All right. Now you can always match the stroke to the stroke that's on your artwork. So mine's black now. Awesome. Now, just the original showing, now that extra bleed. But I want it to cut around the edges like how I designed it. So all I want to do is go to my cut file, double click, go to color overlay. I'll make it black. There's a reason for that, and I'll show you why. Now, now I just have my original showing. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna pull it in into Illustrator. So I'm gonna open up another artboard. Grab this, and you can drag it in Illustrator, or you can press Control and hold it down over the file, and click, and go to Edit, Copy Merged if you want to. And you can just paste it in Illustrator. I'm just gonna drag it in Illustrator for right now. So what I like to do is once I, once I get it here. Just align it into my artboard straight. Okay. We're gonna name this 
um, the print. So I'm going to add a new layer and call it cut. I have my print locked so now it can't move. I can't mess with it. Let's go back into Photoshop. And now we're going to grab the cut file. It's just all black. Okay. Now we're going to pull it in the illustrator. And before I like to center it, we have one step to do. We need to get the lines, the paths around this artwork. I'm going to image trace. Okay. Now that I have that panel pulled up, if you don't have this window, this little panel, you can click it right here and it'll pull up. This would be the image trace panel. Now I like to go under advance, ignore white, and I go to expand right here. Now I have my path that I need. I'm going to knock out the fill color to nothing. I'll grab my stroke. I'm at once again, use the roll and cut contour color, the magenta color, double click it, and then change the weight of my point to point 25, which is very important. Now I'm just going to center it on the object. Now, like before, it's just going to go in here and follow this path and cut there only. And once again, we just unlock everything, control A, object, flat transparency, high resolution, okay. Got the arbor tool. Go ahead and fit the arbor bounds. And we're just going to save it. This is .eps file. It'll be good to go. And once again, they'll come back into virtual works. It'll be good, ready to go for you to do any kind of printing or cutting you need to do. Alright, so I hope that helps you.